What's good, YouTube? Back at it again with another banger. Today, we're gonna be talking about gay pride, attitude of gratitude, and there was one more somewhere in my brain, but I cannot think about it right now. And I am flabbergasted. I met some cool people. I met this uh, dyke, you know what I'm saying? And she was cooling. And she just had a really great vibe. She was cooling. And we was talking about, you know, greatness. You know, manifestations and becoming that best version of yourself and what it takes, like the things you got to go through in the past to develop that best version and like just to be attitude of gratitude, to be grateful for what you went through and what you had to go through to learn from that experience because there's other people out there in the world who has it harder who is really struggling who fell off that cliff for too long and didn't catch themselves you know what i'm saying so attitude of gratitude is like you're basically unstoppable you're basically putting yourself um in the most like um positive and most like what's it called what's it called what's it called um um, 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 um um it's like putting yourself first you know what i'm saying standing up watching your like your energy and just you know understanding different types of energy because we are the soul and the body and yada yada ye. so um i kind of just wanted to talk a, a little bit about uh, a little situation that had happened earlier and it was about the, the gay pride thing or whatever so you gotta understand so there's a lot of people who's you know still in the matrix and trying to find their way and there's a lot of people who's like you know you're on that 5d wavelength and you understand things and i just be like for the because most of most of the people are like not awoken yet, not awakened to what's actually what is going on and that's majority of the world in general hey they playing a the song outside and they changing the radio all right but um hmm. so there was like this she was talking about this topic where like um she was on the train and she had this random dude basically like talk shit about her and i was like off the back like you know what i'm saying you should stand up for yourself and just be like you know fuck you be like fuck is he talking about you know busty ass crusty dusty disgusted ass boots you bum ass bitch ass whole ass fuck nigga what the fuck is he talking about and then send them on their way because like if they're just coming at you for no reason it's like bro like, what are you on like you bugging you a hater like, a hating ass person and it'd be people like that too but they go through things they go through you know withdrawals drug addicts and she told me like right off the back like he looked like he was going through something like he just was on drugs or whatever like that and you know doing something crazy so it's like she didn't even give that energy or an opportunity to take her own energy away from her she let him talk and at the end she said what she said and then that man basically he left because it was like I guess she was like, um, it wasn't really nothing else to be said because there was no energy given. And as small situations like that can happen all the time, because a lot of people still feel a need to just be right. And there's no, there's no really, uh, I'm not too sure I was going with that one. But 
Yeah, cool ass person. And I, I feel like uh, the people in general, they should uh, be themselves. Be themselves, you know. They have a choice, it's their choice to do what they want. I mean, nothing to do with me, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm still waking up doing a little summer, baby, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh it's just like yo like don't let that affect you don't make don't let that make you feel no type of way because the people need to go through their own journey you know what i'm saying they have to go through their own journey at their own experience they hear that and go through them things probably a million times a day you know what i'm saying so you being that extra one person it's like I'm pretty sure you're not going to get to the person, but it's just like, save your breath, bro. Don't be worried about bringing the next man down. That's not it. You know what I'm saying? Just focus on you. It's always going to be a way. And, um, hmm. <laughs> I took gratitude, good pride, and there's one more I was missing. I low-key forgot. And... I'm a free ball with them. Six minutes in. Shoot, man. What else happened today that felt really aliens? <laughs> aliens. And I, I basically, I was watching this show, and it was about the zombies. And it was uh, warm bodies. And I was like, you know, I was just really cool. And like, it just brought back mad old memories. And I was just like, bro, like, damn, this shit really is powerful. Like, love is really powerful. Love is really powerful, fam. Show some person some love. Like, they feel amazing. Like, how? Like, how is that so crazy? Show somebody, like, a little kindness or respect, bro. You want to be your best friend. But it's like, when you don't really come from a place of love, it's like... Mm, obviously from like past trauma and past things that happen but a person that's not really fully healed is like how can you ever really experience everything and be happy about it like to be even like so happy about just waking up like i be thinking sometimes like ralph literally wakes up in the morning and just feels so good to be alive and i'm like i'm like yo it, like, it just passed my head like that that's probably really how he wakes up like probably climbs a mountain around like 6 a.m go all the way to the top and go feels so good to be alive like that's is like it's powerful and you just like you living here on earth bro you got your whole life in front of you you got no time limit there is no time limit for you to be like no i messed up i can't go back looking in the past want to go change things and who we and how it could have been you're here now you're here right now it's like that you got to find that like excitement you got to make it exciting you got to make it fun because you gonna have a child one day or you gonna be or you just gonna probably i don't know experience another uh spiritual awakening and where it hits you and you're just like like i'm pretty sure we all had the moments where you're like you're sitting down and you're like wow like i'm really living right now like this is life like for real and i don't know if that's like am i am i cooking up right now is that that sign is that that sign or is it like emergency uh could be both but um man the universe would always give you signs it's like it, it would always be around you to be like yo i should have went and did what I was supposed to do because 
it be right in your face. Like I be walking outside and I'll see the most obvious sign ever like in history. And I'll be like, yo, if this ain't a game, then I don't know what is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and nothing happens. I mean, everything happens. I mean, nothing is a coincidence. Yeah, nothing is a coincidence because everything happens for a reason. And this life has already been written. You know what I'm saying? It's already been here. So everything is exactly the place where it needs to be. It's just how you handle it, how you go about your emotions and all of that. Because you're, you're supposed to be here to enjoy the human experience in general. So definitely, man, make memories. Have some good times. You know, always tune out that, that weird. If you ever feel like a weird vibe, you know, you got to snap out of it. Put some fire-ass fire jams on, like, your best songs. Make that playlist a special playlist just for you, like, and put your best songs in there. And then be like, you know what? I'm going to jam to this. Probably, you know, do your thing. Doing a little song, my baby. <laughs> uh, what if I did fun, man? I am funny. Well, it's been real. And, um, send you guys star seed energy, man. That basically means you are the star of your own movie, the co creator. And I believe in you guys, as always. Take it easy. Emot.